Welcome back to another lecture in the series Engineering Design, Modeling and Graphics brought to you by CADmodelinghub.com. In this lecture entitled Engineering Standards, you will learn about the various standards and rules that define, specify, and control the creation of working drawings. Standards are necessary so that drawings are universally understood by engineering peers within your company and or engineers from other national or international companies. I will also discuss the basic elements that make up working or engineering drawings. So let's get started. Engineering standards can be grouped into three basic categories, international, national, and company. Company standards are the refinement and application of the national and international drafting and modeling standards to a particular company within an engineering sector such as aerospace, automotive, shipbuilding, and so forth. Many of the allied nations had struggled with their interchangeability of warfighter parts during World War II. Good parts from one damaged jeep, tank, cannon, or gun could not easily replace those same damaged parts on another jeep, tank, or cannon. Much of engineering and manufacturing prior to World War II was made to fit, which made interchangeability almost impossible. In 1947, at the end of World War II, many countries came together and formed the International Organization for Standards, or ISO. Today, some 163 countries are members. Other countries are either correspondent members or subscribers, which mean they still use the rules and guidelines published by the ISO organization. Take a minute and look at the world map and see what type of ISO membership your country endorses. In many respects, the ISO organization and their approved rules and standards have facilitated the globalization of many markets and the mass outsourcing of engineering design manufacturing to low-cost centers around the world. The main ISO standard that covers modeling and drafting annotation is ISO 128. ISO 128 is divided into 13 major parts or sub-standards. Here is a list of the 13 parts. Notice how they cover such things as all line types and line conventions, leaders, reference, construction lines, Basic views, sections and cuts. Simplified representation of mechanical parts like springs, fasteners, and threads. Beyond the ISO 128 standards are dozens of standards that cover related technical drawing issues. Here is a short list of a few related standards. A complete list of these other standards can be found in our suggested reference text, Geometrical Dimensioning and Tolerancing for Design, Manufacturing, and Inspection by George Hinsel Zog. The second set of standards I categorized as national, meaning a country-specific drafting and modeling standard. In the United States, our current National Drafting Standard is defined and maintained by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, or ASME. ASME took control of the U.S. standard in 1994. Previous versions of the standard had been defined and maintained by the American National Standards Institute, 
The main standard for modeling and drafting annotation is Y14. However, like the ISO standard, there are many subsections to this standard that define and control such things as the drawing sheet size, line convention and lettering, multi-view and sectional view representation, dimensioning and tolerancing, drawing revision, abbreviations, and how to represent such things as screw threads, gears, splines, springs, surface texture, and so forth. Do other countries have their own national standards? Yes. Most of these standards predate when the ISO standard was introduced post-World War II. Like the US's ASME organization, I have provided a few of the more significant national standards organizations. If your national standard organization is not listed here, and you do not know it, I would highly recommend that you take an assignment to learn the name of your organization and where they publish their standards. These organizations and their standards will play a vital role in the nation's engineering and manufacturing of goods for consumption in that nation. The third set of standards I categorized as company meaning a company-specific drafting and modeling standard. Large automotive companies and their suppliers, like these shown here, have taken the ISO and appropriate national standards and have applied and clarified these standards with respect to how they do modeling and drafting annotation of automotive parts and their systems within their individual companies and across their supply chain. If you were to examine the GM and Ford modeling and drafting standard, you would find them similar but not identical. However, if GM and Ford were to partner on the development of a new 5-liter engine, they would first agree on which modeling and drafting standard to use before beginning the design and development process. Here is a short list of some aerospace companies. They, like their automotive counterparts, have well-defined modeling and drafting standards. These standards are used to maintain modeling and drawing consistency within their company and across their vast supply chain. In 2014, Boeing disclosed they use more than 6,000 suppliers to produce their offering of commercial airplanes. Without a well-established set of company standards, that are adhered to both internally as well as across their supply chain, they would have a difficult time bringing the millions of components together into finished manufactured airplanes. Regardless, the engineering sector, marine, heavy industry, consumer products, or even engineering service sector, each have their own standard for modeling and drafting. The only exception to company modeling and drafting standards may occur in the engineering service sector. These companies provide temporary engineering design and analysis resources, contract headcount to help other company firms during their peaks and valleys of their manufacturing and production process. That said, many engineering service companies will, for a limited time, adopt the standard of the paying company. Before transitioning to the topic of engineering drawings, let's summarize and take the takeaways from the drafting and modeling standard. 
There are three categories of standards. International, the ISO 128. National, for example, the US ASME Y14. And company standards. Company standards are an interpretation and application of international and national standards to a particular line of engineering and manufacturing done by a company and its supply chain. National standards are intended for use when the product is developed and consumed within a given nation. The ISO international standard is to allow design and manufacturing and the consumption of those products across country boundaries. Through the definition and adoption of international design and manufacturing standards, products can be designed anywhere, manufactured anywhere, and consumed anywhere.